Hello and welcome. In this video, I would like to talk about the keywords all and total. All and total are both keywords for um, measures in uh, front end expressions. So imagine you have uh, a table of some sales um, of two different products, A and B, for three different regions. Africa, Asia, and Europe, and the years 2019 to 2021. And here we have the sum of sales. And of course, the expression sum of sales sums the sales for um, each dimension individually. So for instance, $1,000 is the sum of sales in Africa 2019 for product A. The expressions all and total are both ways to um, ignore the dimensions in the table and just sum over all the sales. So I will show you now. For instance, if we say sum over all sales, it returns um, 72,000, which is what you can see here, the sum of all the sales in the table. And the same for the total keyword. We can also say sum over total sales. And it returns the same, 72,000. So what's the difference then between all and, say, and total? Um, the difference you see when I select a filter, for instance, region equal to Africa, <clears throat> then sum over all sales just stays the same. It's still the same value. Whereas um, um, the sum of total sales actually respected the filter um, and reacted to it. So it just sums over uh, all the sales in Africa what you can also see here. Or we could apply the filter year and we see the same. So now sum of total sales would be the total in 2019, whereas sum of all sales still ignores all dimensions and just returns the sum of all values in the table. There is actually another way to ignore filters in case you are already familiar with um, set expressions, then you might know that um, if we write a one in those parentheses, the one also ignores filters. So we could say sum of one total sales and it will also return the sum of all sales and it will also ignore filters. So basically sum of all sales is the same as sum of one total sales. But that's just a side note. So maybe let's delete this column again. Sometimes you actually might want to sum over um, all dimensions but one. You can also do that with the total and the all keyword by um, writing a dimension in these pointy brackets. So for instance, region. Now it sums over all sales, but still by region. So what it means is it ignores all the dimensions in the table except region. So basically what we have here is a sum of all sales by region. So 20,000, 25,000 uh, for Africa, 24 for Asia and 23 for Europe. You could also um, sum by several um, dimensions. You could also say um, year. So now it sums over all sales by um, region and year. 
So for instance, these 3000 would be now the total sales for Africa in the year 2019, but still the sum of product A and B. So 1000 plus 2000 is 3000. I think that the, the keywords total and all are quite useful for um, uh, calculating proportions. So I will show that in a bar chart. Let's say we want bars for every uh, um, region and also for every product and we want to sum the sales. Okay, now we have the total numbers of sales for each product in each region. But um, we might want uh, or we might be interested in the proportions of sales of these products. So what we could do is di divide the sum of sales by the sum of total sales. Now we have proportions, so maybe let's take that as percentage numbers and also show them in appearance, presentation, you can say value labels on. Okay, so now we have proportions, but are they actually meaningful? So um, what does it mean? It means 9.7% of all the sales that I have are in the region Africa for product A or 19.5% of all the sales are product B in Europe. But that's, that might be not what we want. We might want to um, get the proportions of sales of product A and B per region, right? So we could change that by adding um, the region to the total keyword. And now we get the proportions of product A and B um, by region. So 28% 20, of all the sales in Africa are for product A and 72% of all the uh, sales were for product B. So um, for each region, the percentage numbers add up to 100%. Okay, so just to recap, Total is a way to ignore table dimensions in the aggregation, but it still respects the filters. Whereas all ignores table dimensions as well as filters, which you can also achieve by one in uh, curly brackets and total sales. That's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, please consider giving a thumbs up or subscribing the channel. Also, if you have questions um, about any ClickSense functions, just put it in the, in the comments below and maybe we make a video about it. Thanks.